When you first come upon this puzzle, it pulls your mind into this different place. What is it? How does it work? What is it made from? Why does it exist? And asking those questions is kind of what keeps life interesting. Hi, I'm Hunter. I'm the co-founder of Craykill. So this is the Tetra Puzzle. Some friends of ours, Nate and Damien, approached us with this new puzzle design. When we first got this prototype, I had not seen anything like it before. We didn't realize that this type of interlocking design could be executed so beautifully. I was like, you know, an expletive. This is awesome. This is <laughs> Nate actually used to work for us, and he helped design the Jack puzzle and the Venn puzzle. The Tetra puzzle feels like a natural evolution of that exploration of metal mechanical puzzles. With the Tetra puzzle, more of the challenge is in disassembling it. It's really not intuitive how those parts come apart. Oh God, open. Huh. Oh, this is one piece of the Tetra puzzle which is made up of four identical pieces. Each piece corresponds to one node of this pyramidal tetrahedron shape. All of the components have to slot into their final space at the same time. If you put two or three of the pieces together first, it would be impossible to get the final piece in. You know, you try prying it, you try the, the kind of obvious methods, and the parts just don't want to move. Hunter, give me a hint. Is there a button? Is this a joke? Does it not open? Is this a... <laughs> Your determination to understand it only grows. So it's made from solid stainless steel. It's a pound and a half, and it's a very dense feeling in your hand, which really heightens that moment or when all the pieces slide into place. I think you could send it to outer space and bring it back and it'd be all right. We have considered all of these aesthetic details where we put bevels and rounded corners. That's what helps elevate this to a display-worthy object. Oh. There is that oh. moment with this type of puzzle where all of a sudden the pieces slide into place and there's just this small rush. The world melts away and you're just focused on this one thing. Oh my God, I got it, it's happening. Oh, beautiful. That feels amazing. I feel like I just came out of a pool. I do feel really good about myself. <laughs> I don't know how to get it back, though. <laughs> Once you're more familiar with the puzzle, it still has this ability to engage people in a tactile way. The way that it moves is unlike you know, the way other metal objects move and interact. I think I actually enjoy the process more than the finish line for me. I think she just doesn't know what the top of the mountaintop is like. It's, it's great up here. That kind of childlike wonder, wanting to understand how an object works and trying to deconstruct it and reconstruct it, that's as old as humanity. You know, it's been a pretty wild ride uh, since our first Kickstarter a few years ago. That project in the Kickstarter community has allowed our business to grow and allowed us to continue exploring these interesting objects and these interesting products and ideas. And the most tangible result of this growth has been we just moved into this new larger space here in Brooklyn. Launching this product on Kickstarter uh, hopefully allows us to both commit to the expensive tooling that's required to make this complex geometry, but also run a large enough volume production run to bring the unit cost down. And it just seems right that we bring this new puzzle to this audience first, which has been so crucial in establishing this product category for us. Thank you so much. We really hope that you enjoy the Tetra Puzzle as much as we do.